Hi, this is David with entry number 568, <laughs> 69, I don't know. again, I had forgotten. You would think that uh, it would be pretty easy to kind of recall or at least remember the, the, the order of these things, but, you know, for whatever reason, it is, it is um, very easy to forget for me personally. Currently in Hapjung, in between uh, um, kind of like two different um, uh, stations, I suppose, uh, subway stations on two different lines. So um, it's a pretty nice area, as you can see. It's very residential. Um, a lot of old school apartments that are like this kind i don't know if the camera can pick it up but they're like small four four or five levels and um not not like high rises um definitely not high rises they're cool um i'm sure they're a bit unique in their interior design but um, i'm sure that someone like me would like to live in an old school place like that because i bet they're a bit bigger than than the new version new style apartments um, currently, uh, sorry for the noise, um, it's probably going to rain in a couple hours. It's hot, and it's windy, and it's a little humid. And when you put those combinations together, that just spells showers. So, uh, I've got my nice waterproof hat on, so hopefully that'll protect me. Um, if you haven't noticed, this has been a bit of a meandering entry it's already been it says two minutes on the count on the timer so there's not a whole lot i gotta say today um apologize for it being short and of not having a lot of substance but everything is good uh for me uh so far um nothing has really changed dr drastically since the last time i recorded um it's still pretty much a pretty pretty good life <laughs> uh but yeah, um, I'm trying to think. I had an, um, I have been meeting with my pupil, and it's been a very good experience, I would say. Um, it's been interesting, and kind of the biggest takeaway. Excuse me, I'm gonna quiet my voice for a second. The biggest takeaway has been um, the fact that I've got, I'm learning day by day maybe lesson by lesson, the kind of importance and building up, rebuilding up the skill, sorry about that, this guy's the chopper, um, rebuilding the skill of conversation, um, you kind of take it for granted, I think, the kind of ability that is required for good conversation. And historically, people like barbers and shoeshine guys and uh, bartenders were all like, pretty good at conversation because that's kind of the the way you, why you would pay extra to go to a nice barber or to pay you know five dollars for a for a martini because you want to have or you would expect that the person serving you servicing you would be good at keeping up with conversation and it's really something that I think is pretty cool. Um, it's a it, it's a it's a skill that I think a lot of people a lot of people take for granted, and it doesn't act you know to be honest it's not it's not a difficult skill to work at. Really, it's just talking and keeping the person you're talking to intrigued enough to continue conversation. So in that regard, it's pretty easy, but. Um, to, to get to get good at it is just really requires um, involving your conversation partner in more uh, kind of poignant questioning. Um, it's easy to just ask a lot of surface level questions, but it gets a little bit more difficult when you want to ask things that are more personal and have the potential 
the potentiality to cause um, some offense, and it's it's the, it's learning how to play this line, tease this line where you can you can get people to give give out personal or share personal information, but also not feel that they're oversharing or possibly. Um, you know, afraid of offense, and um, you have kind of the masters of this uh, wrote books about it. And um, when you're really good, you're called charismatic. And um, it's just something that I found interesting, and maybe I'll share more about it on the weekend uh, because it is something that I've given been giving a lot of thought to. Kind of what makes, what is, what makes for good conversation. But anyway, that's about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.